Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy and in today's video, I will be doing a gigantic summer luxury haul. These are all of the things that I got <laughs> over the past few months. Dior, LV, Hermes, Fendi, Belmont. And I just wanted to share it with you. Most of it is summer focused. That's why I'm calling this kind of a summer haul, but some of this I can use all year round. Yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna start off small and then we will get into the big things. I got a bunch of swimsuits. I am going on vacation. The pandemic is easing up. Travel restrictions are lifting and I am just so excited to get out and be with my family and be with my friends. We are traveling very soon and I am going to be celebrating with my friends, my girlfriends, and I'm just so excited. I just want to get out of here and go to the beach, go to the pool, hang out and just go on vacation. <laughs> so I got some swimsuits and we will start with some really cute ones. So I got from Dior. By the way, if you haven't checked out swimsuits from luxury designers, go ahead and check them out because they have the cutest little packaging. Most of the designers, their swimsuits come in little pouches like this for travel. So I got a Dior. It is this Dior string bikini. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is large. It is a little skimpy, but I made the mistake of getting the small initially, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not gonna work out for me. <laughs> I'm actually going to be listing it in my Instagram, a heated mess underscore closet. That's where I sell my things that I'm getting rid of, but I obviously didn't wear it, it's brand new. I got the small and because it's non-returnable and because it's final sale, I couldn't return it. So I went back and I got the large. I've had three kids, okay? I'm not the size I used to be. So I got the Dior Oblique Bikini, that's the top and then the bottom, super cute. And then it comes in the matching Dior pouch. By the way, if I post anything for sale from my personal private collection, I'll post it in my Instagram. My Instagram is at a heated mess. And then I have a backup account, a heated mess closet. And that's where I post things for sale. So you can go ahead and follow those if you're interested. I will be selling Dior string bikini in the size small because I had to size up because it's very tiny. Also, I don't normally do this just because I forget the prices, but I will be listing the prices, at least in the description or maybe in the video. This bikini was 370 for each piece. So that's the price. Next up is LV. I saw this online and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I know by the pool, is kind of old news at this point, but whatever, I'm going to the pool, I love it. I love blue, and so I got the LV Blue Lagoon Monogram High Rise Drawstring Bottom. This retailed for 405, and I think that's a pretty decent price for an LV bikini. I just got the bottom, I didn't like the top to this, so I just got this and I'm gonna pair it with a white top. But look how cute. These LV swimsuits come with this super cute LV pouch. It's a PVC pouch, it's waterproof. It's meant to protect it from, you know, all your other stuff. Just so cute. This was so hard to track down. I really had to, I had to contact several stores to get this. So excited to wear it. So I loved this so much that I got another one. <laughs> I got another LV bikini. So I got the LV low rise bikini bottom in the darker blue. I'm just on such a blue kick. So yeah, this is a little bigger because it's low rise. I, I size up a little bit and so this fits great. I got a size 40. The sizing is so hit or miss. I sized up a little bit in this because it was the only one available online. So yeah, this is a size 40. So I recommend sizing up and I didn't want it to be super tight, especially because it's low rise. It's gonna, it's kind of like hip huggers. I wanted it to be a little more comfy. And so this one is 340, which actually I thought was pretty reasonable reasonable. And once again, it came with another LV pouch to store it in and to travel with. So those are my two LV bikinis. Now moving on from LV, I got from Fendi this <laughs> a Fendi bikini. If you watched my Mother's Day haul from last year, I got the same print in the one piece. I mean, I love this one piece. I just, I love this, such a classic logo, the Fendi Zuka print. I love the one piece. And so I was like, you know, when I'm feeling a little frisky, I decided to get the bikini. I got this from 24S, which is owned by LV. MH. And this retailed for 450 for both pieces. So yeah. And then one more swimsuit was from Hermes and it's that's the box back there. This one I ordered online. Look how cute this pouch is. I mean, they sell these pouches, similar pouches for, I don't know, four or 500. This was the free pouch that came with the swimsuit. So I got an Hermes swimsuit and this is the pouch and this is it. Look at how gorgeous that color is. This is the Hermes Tanya swimsuit. So this one was only 425, which I thought was pretty reasonable. It's just very plain. It says Hermes, it's a little wrinkled, but it says, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like cut out right there. It's a circle design. And yeah, it's just, it's very slimming, I think. It's super fitted, obviously. 
There's the back. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a Speedo, but I just, I love the color. The color is called Blue Outreme. Spelled out Reamer, but that's not how it's pronounced. Now, moving on to ready to wear. I got a Fendi cropped top. It's called the Fendi Logo FF Fendi Rama cropped top. And it's kind of like, it almost feels like rubbery. It has a high kind of a cutout on the chest. And then the back crisscrosses. This one I got from Saks online actually. And I sized up. The Italian sizing is so crazy. This is a size 42. So it's a little big. It's, it kind of gaps a little bit on the side. But I just thought this was so cute. This would be really cute with high-waisted shorts or a high-waisted skirt. Or, I mean, I might even wear this just as a bathing suit with my, with just plain black bikini bottoms. I don't know if this is actually a sport top, you know, like a sports bra. It kind of looks like a sports bra. I mean, how cute is that? Fendi crop top. This was $320 and I got this from Saks online. Sometimes when people have unboxings or hauls, especially for luxury, they don't always include the prices because there's a lot of hate on these videos. But I think in this case I will, and maybe at this point I will have a running tally of the prices because this was a massive haul. Next up, this is the first item from this brand that I own. It is from Balmain. It is the button embellished flocked cotton jersey top from Balmain. And I got this, shockingly, from The Outnet, which is the retailer, it's a legitimate retailer, but it was on sale. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this <laughs> on sale. Now I've seen this top, it's just a sleeveless top. It has the embellishment right up there, right there at the top on the one side. And I only paid with tax $174 for this, which I think is just so great. I don't even know what the original retail price of this so I'm glad I got this on sale and I got it in the plain black because some of the colors, they have some neon colors. Those are usually maybe the ones that go on sale, but I don't really, I don't really wear neon. I just think this would be really cute with just plain black shorts tucked in. I just, maybe if you want to throw a blazer on it. So my first Balmain top. Moving on to Dior. I got this top. <laughs> This is actually from the men's collection. Dior, is it mesh? Sheer Dior oblique top, it's a short sleeve. I got this, I think this is medium. I can dress this up on its own, or I plan on wearing this as a swimsuit cover up, you know, when I'm going to the pool, when I'm feeling bougie. So I got this in navy and I got it in white. Unfortunately, with the white one, I already, just trying it on, I got makeup on the neck line, so I had to wash it already. But yeah, it still looks really nice and very sheer and then same thing with this so right now i'm just wearing like a bra underneath it these retailed for i don't remember i want to say it was like 620 i think for both of these maybe or maybe 500 i forget the price honestly but yeah so these two dior tops and then what is a top without shorts <laughs> I got these Dior Taffeta Oblique Shorts, and I actually got this from Nordstrom. So it's great. I love purchasing from the department stores if I can, if they have it, because then I earn points and or I can redeem, you know, gift cards or points with the store. But yeah, this is super cute. It has pockets on both sides that zip. This also has a zipper pull that says Christian Dior. It's elastic, it's very roomy. I actually got this, it's a little bit too big. I got it in a size too big because I didn't want it to be, I hate when things are just so constricting and I just think it's kind of unflattering, at least on me. So I want it to be a little roomy, but yeah, these are super cute on with just a plain white top or navy. I just thought these are so cute. And because we are including prices in this video, these shorts were $1,800. Going back to Fendi, I got this super cute black Fendi reversible hoodie. I got this from Saks. I love hoodies. I don't wear them in my videos for the most part, but I mean, these are just such a summer staple because I'm always cold. So, you know, why not have a bougie one? I don't remember how much this costs. I gotta, I gotta find out and then I'll, I'll try to include the price down below. It's just plain black on the outside. It has the Fendi kind of deboss there sticking out. It has the Fendi logo on the sleeves plain back and then it has the drawstring and then when you zip it oh even the zipper pull it says Fendi it has that little same Fendi Zuko zip and bam reversible I don't know if I would reverse it I mean maybe if I'm wearing all black but I just I just love how this has a little peak of the logo kind of like the Fendi peekaboo yeah so cute yeah this was from Saks also you guys have to follow his his Instagram is at Saks fifth drip. He is awesome. He has everything. I think he's based out of the Rodeo Drive. He's based out of the Saks Beverly Hills and they just have everything. So I pretty much do 90% of my shopping from Saks through him. So yeah, he posts it and then I just was able to snatch it up. 
Yeah, so Fendi hoodie. Now, these are my two favorite items of ready to wear in this haul, and I don't know what to show you first. Okay, I'm gonna show you the LV one first. This is from LV. Here's the garment bag. And I got, <laughs> I got the LV on the go romper. So they call it a play suit. I don't know why they call it that. I call it a romper. So cute. Oh my gosh. I saw the lookbook and I was like, I, I'm getting it. I love it. First of all, I love this style of romper in the summer. It just is so like easy breezy to use. I know it looks really big, but this drawstring can cinch. And so, you know, it's a little more fitted, but yeah, this has the uh, by the pool kind of ombre gradients. It's lighter collar, and then it turns into a darker blue on the bottom. That's the back. It just is so cute. This, I could have maybe gotten a smaller size, but I like it when it's a little flowy and roomy. I don't want everything to be skin tight, but oh my gosh, I mean, I know I need to, it's been hanging for a while already. I got this, I got this a while ago. So here is the LV zipper pull with the vachetta. It has the LV snaps on the shoulder and pockets, so cute. I love this. I, I plan on wearing this on its own with just, uh, you know, maybe a camisole underneath. And then also I probably will wear this to the pool. <laughs> I'm going to a bachelorette party weekend and it is just gonna be so much fun. And I can't wait to wear this and just feel so bougie by the pool as a swimsuit cover up. So that is the LV by the pool play suit romper in blue. And then for the cutest and my most favorite item of ready to wear in this haul from Dior, I got this Dior velour hooded dress oh my gosh you guys so i saw this dress on the dior website and even on the hanger it just it doesn't look as cute i think when i saw it i was like eh, i thought this was a dropped waist like a drop waist and which i just maybe isn't always the most flattering but then I saw a picture of, I don't know her name, some Instagram influencer or whatever. I was like, oh my God, she looked gorgeous, gorgeous. It looked, it was a lot more fitted, but still really cute and playful. And you know, you have the option of the hood, which I love, I love hoods, <laughs> I love I love hoodies. And then I found out that it was, because I couldn't tell from the pictures, I thought it was a terry cloth material, like a beach towel, but it's actually velour, like the velour juicy jumpsuits or like the velour juicy track suits from the early 2000s. And I was like, I'm sold. I'm sold on this. <laughs> now this hooded dress was $2,000 and I got this from Saks. So I was able to redeem my Saks gift card and uh, bonus points towards this. So that's how I kind of justified it. But oh my gosh, how cute is this? So yeah, same thing on the back. This is just so cute. It came, comes with the Dior hanger. And also, and same thing with the LV play suit that also had the LV hanger and garment bag. But oh my gosh, so cute. I love this, I can't, it's so comfy, it's, I love this. I tried on the taffeta hooded dress in the Toit de Jouy and it also came in the oblique and it was so uncomfortable. Like it felt like a raincoat, but they had it styled as a dress and it was also a lot more expensive. It was like 3,400 and I was just like, that's not even comfortable to wear. So I, I passed on that, but I just, I love this. This is cotton, you know, it'll breathe, so cute. So now sticking with Dior, but moving on to shoes, I got the Dior Revolution sandals in black and in beige <laughs> because I just love it so much. These are a little more comfortable because they're rubber and they, you know, you can see that they move a little bit. So I got the black and beige because I feel like this covers all my bases. They also, it comes in other colors. I was considering the navy because I love navy, but I just, I have a lot of navy, so I don't really, I didn't really need to do that. And they're pretty affordable-ish compared to, you know, relative to Dior. These are pretty affordable. It's $620. So for both of these, we're 620. And I just, I love it. The black one I got from Nordstrom, I believe. And then the beige I got from Neiman Marcus. So yeah, these are great for summer. I've already been using them, super comfortable. Oh, the other thing that I love about this is this is adjustable. It's Velcro. So, you know, sometimes in the summer when you are in the sun all day or walking around, or if you've had too much Chinese food or something, your feet might swell. And so these are adjustable if you need to loosen it a little bit and then you can tighten it again. So Dior Revolution slides. And then I got some sneakers. I really like the Dior Oblique espadrilles, but not the closed heel espadrilles, the ones that are kind of like slip on. And I don't know, I just kind of pass on those. But what I did end up getting are these. These are the Dior Oblique Solar sneakers i think these are called some people might not like them they kind of look like dad you know grandpa slip-on shoes 
but they're so cute and they're so comfortable and they're so easy to wear. You really don't even need to wear socks with them. I really like it. The other thing is that it has these huge <laughs> loops on the back so you can slip your heels into them easily. And because I'm very short, I wear this a lot with jumpsuits, you know, full length jumpsuits. So yeah, these are just super easy to just throw on with anything and they are really comfortable. Dior Solar slip-on sneakers. Another exciting development with Dior. They recently came out with their baby Dior collection of clothes for kids and babies. And fortunately for me, because I <laughs> kind of have small feet, I guess, I am able to fit into kids' shoes. And in the past, I've taken advantage of that. I can fit into some kids' clothing, some kids' shoes. And because it is meant for kids, it has a kids' price tag. So I was able to get, finally, the Dior Oblique High Tops in the gray, in the gray oblique. This is the boys size, I think size 35, which I guess is equivalent to a size five. It fits me, it's very fitted, but I just think it's so cute. And I save money because it's for kids. So the adult high tops of these are, I believe 11.50. The kids version is 7.80. So I saved $370, almost $400 by being able to fit into the kids into the kids' sneakers. So just a tip, if you're trying to save money, you know, have small feet so that you can fit into kids' stuff. Okay, now moving on to accessories and random things. I saw this and I was like, you know what? Hydration is so important. I got the Christian Dior water bottle. What's great about this is that this is for hot and cold. You can see on the bottom. I mean, why not? Hydration is so important. You gotta drink water. This keeps your cold drink cold and your hot drink hot. It opens up here. That's the top. And yeah, this was $180. And I saw this online and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want it, but I don't need it. So I passed. And this is why you need to trust your instincts because as soon as I saw that it was sold out, I was like, oh, I regret not getting it immediately. So I reached out to my Dior SA and fortunately he was able to find it for me. So thank you, Randy. So he was able to send this to me and he also included these. This is the new Dior magazine and the Dior Fall 2021 catalog. So I, I love these books. These are great coffee table books. Again, self-care is so important. So is protecting yourself from the sun. I got the new Dior Oblique <laughs> visor. I missed the visors that went on sale. I saw that they, I guess they were coming, they were redoing it and they came out with the new version. And so the old ones went on sale. I missed out, but I was able to get this. And so this is brand new. So this one is, they priced it a little higher. This was 560, but it just is so important. I mean, it is so important to protect yourself from the sun. Okay, wear your sunscreen, stay indoors. You just, you gotta do it. Okay, it's very important. So my Dior visor. Moving on to LV. I 1000% panic bought these two items. We all have heard the horrible news. The toiletry pouch is being discontinued. This is my trusty toiletry pouch 26. This is the largest size. This is a tassel from Dress Up Your Purse store. I'd always considered getting the smaller two sizes, but I was like, you know, I don't really need it. I have tons of pouches that I get free, you know, with a, as a gift with purchase. And a lot of them are Chanel and Dior. So I was like, I don't really need another pouch, but then I heard they were being discontinued and I immediately <laughs> sought out both of them. So here they are, the toiletry pouch 15 and the toiletry pouch 19. So I officially have all three sizes of the toiletry pouch. <laughs> So I've not used them yet. I will definitely be using these in my upcoming travels. So stay tuned for a review. I mean, I love this. I use the bigger one always and the smaller ones would be great even just as an in my everyday bag. So I think this is a wise purchase. So the LV toiletry pouch 19 and 15. We are nearing the end folks. Sticking with toiletries from Chanel. I got the Chanel vanity case in the blue caviar. Oh my gosh, how classic is this? I have always eyed the vanity cases in the Chanel Beauty Boutique when I go to visit in person. And so my SA contacted me, she was like, oh my God, Cindy, the blue one came in because I was like, okay, let me know when the blue one comes in. <laughs> because I was like, I don't need, need another black Chanel. And I'm like, I don't really need a red one either. I don't really wear red. But I was like, if the blue one comes in, let me know. And she did, and I snatched it up. 
These are such a great classic item to have. I love vanity cases. I have three sizes of the LV Nice train case. And I was like, I need, I need a Chanel one. I think this is considered an SLG. It's not a purse, which is why it's very reasonably priced compared to the LV bags. But compared to Chanel bags at this point, they're starting at three, four thousand, five thousand dollars $5,000. The Chanel vanity case is $2,000. And it just went up. I really should have gotten it before when it was, I think, $1,800. But $2,000 isn't too bad if you use it as a purse. I will stick to using this as a travel toiletry case. but And also on, on my vanity, I think it would look really nice. But yeah, it's so pretty. There is the, it has the, kind of a champagne gold hardware. It's got the CC logo at the top. I still have the plastic on there. Um, it's a hard handle and then it opens. It's got the quilting inside and this little pocket here. Those are, oh, those are my receipts and, and some little goodies she included, these little <laughs> Chanel stickers. So yeah, look how cute. Oh, it's got another pocket here. So cute. I previously had the Chanel Coco handle on my kind of a luxury wish list, and I kind of took that off the wish list. I wasn't even on this year's wish list. I think this will take its place. Also, I also was looking at the Dior train case, and I think that one is about closer to four thousand or three thirty-five hundred. So two thousand, I I think it's. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's pretty reasonable when you compare it to Dior and or an actual Chanel bag. So the Chanel vanity case. One more accessory. I got the LV Bandeau in the same By the Pool collection in blue to go with my play suit. I love this collection. I wasn't a huge fan of the Escale collection from last summer. I just thought the blues were, the blue and white together, it was just kind of too shocking for me. I, not shocking, but I don't know how to describe it. I just didn't like how the colors went together. I liked the look of the pastel colors, like the pink and the light pink and blue. But I, I mean, I didn't get anything from that collection. But I just, I love the by the pool. I love the gradient. I just love how everything goes together. So, yeah. And then the crowning achievement of this summer haul is from LV and it is a bag and it came in that huge box back there and it is this right here. Can you guess from the shape what this is? I got the LV on the go GM in the by the pool in blue. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute that is. It has this little charm. So I was, you know, hemming and hawing on this because I initially, I really liked the what do they call it? The cruise or, or world collection of the on the go. It had this kind of whip stitching on the edges. And then the front had this just huge written out destinations all over the world. I was looking at the Hamptons one. Then I, you know, I decided to pass on it. it it's priced a little higher. And I just was like, eh, I don't really need that. But I just, I couldn't pass up on this. I mean, look, look at it. It has the same gradient. Oh my gosh. Super cute. Inside, I already have my Samorga book tote organizer and it fits it. It's a little, it's maybe a little bit too big, so it's, it doesn't fit flush against the side, but I just wanted to see what it looks like. But it, otherwise it has the, it has the light lining and then it has one zip pocket and then two slip pockets, right? Wait, oh yeah. And then two slip pockets. But I mean, right, how cute. So now I don't baby my bags, but I don't necessarily like to, I try to somewhat limit its exposure to the elements and, and water and everything. I will probably have to protect the Vachetta with Apple Guard to prevent water stains, but I just, I love this. I have the LV on the go GM in the monogram, which I, I mean, I love that I've done a, I've done a couple videos on it already, but I just, I love this limited edition version of it for the summer. So cute. This retails for $3,050. And fortunately, I was able to get this from Nordstrom. And so I cashed in all my Nordstrom notes that I'd earned. I think it was like almost $600. So I, I consider that a savings of $600 off of this. And then I used my Nordstrom cards and earned more points back. But yeah, the LV on the go. I'm going on vacation. I will probably bring this, even though I know the collection is called by the pool. I don't know if I'm brave enough to use this as a pool bag, but I will certainly get a lot of use out of this this summer. So the crowning glory of this haul, my LV by the pool 
on the go GM tote bag. So that is my entire summer luxury haul. I'm really looking forward to using all of these things, especially this summer, but throughout the years, I have already been using many of them, even including this top. Let me know what you plan on getting this summer and where you are traveling. Like, where is everyone going? You know, I can't wait. It's summer, let's go, let's travel, let's make memories with our family and our friends. And that's what I plan on doing this summer. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what was your favorite item in this haul. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.